Hey guys, so welcome to day 32 of 5K training. It is a 30 minute run. Let's get to it. It's been exactly one week since I've last run and a couple of factors play into that. Uh, we had bad weather at the end of last week, like torrential rain. There was no way for me to run through that. Um, so I ended up trying to just postpone a day, postpone a day, and I was like, I'll get out, I'll get out. And uh, like three days in a row, I just couldn't get out. And I was like, that's all right, it happens. All right, let me get to this run and we'll talk a little bit once I'm done. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, all done with the 30 minute run. Whew, having that full week off sucked. It was difficult. Um, I went out pretty fast. I think I ran the first mile in under 11 minutes. But after that, I started to really slow down. Um, I'll put the stats in here so that you guys can see what today was. Uh, yeah, it was a difficult run today. Oh, excuse me. It was a difficult run today. Uh, felt good to get back outside and running again, but it was pretty damn tough. And I hope that it gets a little easier because I'm 10 days away from completion of the 5K training. And the goal at the 5K training was to run a race at the end. And the Hippity Hop 5K is going to be that race. So, I'm 10 days away from that race now. I want to get in four or five runs before then, making that the final and sixth run. Um, and I want to PR again. That would be my ultimate goal. It's going to be tough. That's why I'm going to push myself these weeks to, uh, to really push it and run good. Uh, I ran the Brooks Adrenaline today. Uh, they worked fine. Very light shoe, easy for turnover. Um, didn't really have any foot pain. Uh, it did, that full week off did give my calves and thighs time to rest and heal. So they felt really good. They're not sore now, they're, they're really strong. Um, still able to run the 55 second run and 30 second walk. I had no problem with that. So overall, I would say it was a pretty good run. Hopefully, uh, we continue going down this path and finishing strong over the next couple of days. Hopefully, the weather cooperates because we're approaching the rainy season here in Florida. And if you don't know about the rainy season, it rains every day for usually about 30 minutes to an hour. But it's always at around 3 o'clock. Um, easy to navigate just run earlier that's all i mean i don't run as late as three anyway because i'll be out working so all right on that note my tip of the day for today is if life gets in the way and there are obstacles in the path of your training series or training block you can do whatever it is necessary to navigate them uh, if it means you got to take a week off, that's okay. But just commit when you get back to going right back to it. You know, get, get back to work. Um, that's what I did, and that's my goal from there. All right, so I'm not sure how much of that got into the video, but my tip of the day was to keep going. Don't let obstacles ruin your running training program. Um, you know, work around it. Life happens. It's okay. You're going to miss a couple of days, and that's fine. Just make sure you get that commitment to go back to it, that's all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you're enjoying them. And if you are, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, give me a like, and uh, hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right, I'll see you guys soon for the next run. Get out there and keep running. Later.